Good morning. Thanks for joining me through the Bible, the Bible challenge, one chapter every day through God's Word for 66 days. We're in 1 Chronicles, and I recognize this is a difficult book to read, but it's so very, very significant. It's really broken up into two parts. The first 10 chapters, the genealogy of King David, and then we come to chapter 11 through chapter 29, and it's all about the life of King David. I'm in Old Roseville. That's what some folks still call it. I'm at the Roseville Rail Station. This place played a historic, significant role in American history. When the frontier folks would cross over from the east to the west, it was by wagon train. But then they put in the railroad system and everything in America would change. This historical fact is key to studying the history of America. Why is that so important? Well, when you consider this genealogy of King David, it shows us the Bible prophecy being fulfilled. You see, these first 10 chapters are going to cover 3,000 years. It's going to show us the line of ancestors all the way back to the beginning all the way to King David. And of course, from King David, we come to the book of Matthew chapter 1, and we are reminded from the ancestors of King David, from David to the Lord Jesus Christ, Bible prophecy is fulfilled. I find a key verse in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Now remember, when you turn to chapter 11, you are now looking at the history of the life of King David. I realize that these historical books can be very confusing. Let me give it to you in a nutshell. When you read 1 Samuel, you're reading about the life of King Saul, the first king of Israel. When you turn to 2 Samuel, it's the life of King David. When you turn to 1 Kings, it's the life of King Solomon. When you turn to 2 Kings, it's the kings of the divided kingdom of Israel. And now, as we come to 1 Chronicles, what happens, it's the retelling of the life of King David. And as you knit together 2 Samuel and 1 Chronicles, you have a completed story of the life of King David. King David's stories here include his anointing as king of Israel, capturing Jerusalem, his mighty men of war, bringing the Ark of the Covenant to the city of Jerusalem, his passion and dream to build the temple, but how God would delay that to his son, but how David would prepare for the construction, and then how David dedicated all the resources that he had gathered for the temple. And finally, the book of First Chronicle closes with the anointing of King David. I find of great significance in my prayer time, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 13, this final prayer of King David. He prays, O Lord, we thank you and praise your glorious name. O Lord, who am I and who are my people that we would give anything to you? Everything we have has come from you and we give you only what you first gave us. O oh Lord, we are here for but a moment, visitors and strangers in the land as our ancestors were before us. 
Our days on earth are like a passing shadow, gone so soon without a trace. O oh Lord our God, even this material we have gathered to build a temple to honor your holy name, it comes from you. It all belongs to you. O oh Lord, I know, my God, that you examine our hearts and rejoice when you find integrity in our hearts. You know I have done all of these things with good motives, and I have watched your people offer their gifts willingly and joyously. O oh Lord, the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, make your people want to obey you. See to it that their love for you never changes. Give my son Solomon the wholehearted desire to obey all your commands, your laws, your decrees, and do everything necessary to build this temple for which I have made these preparations. I want to thank you for accepting the Bible challenge. You be blessed today as you fill your heart with this prayer and the reflection of King David. And from his lineage would come the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, fulfilling Bible prophecy in Jesus' name.